Hey guys, what's up? This is iTech1 here. So recently, Apple's official store on their website went offline out of nowhere, and most of you might know that 99% of the time this happens, we get new Apple products available to be ordered on their website. Now the wait is finally over after a couple months of talking about the leaks and rumors, we now have two brand new spec'd out iPads, one of them being a 10.5 inch iPad Air. In a lot of ways, this iPad replaces the 10.5 inch iPad Pro and the other being an iPad mini 5. So let's talk about both of these iPads and their new features. The new iPad Air has the A12 Bionic chip currently found in the 2018 flagship iPhones. Now in comparison, the 2018 9.7 inch iPad has the A10 chip, so this is definitely a huge upgrade. You're getting the fastest iOS processor Apple has released thus far, so that is great. The new iPad still has the home button with Touch ID authentication, still has a headphone jack, first generation Apple Pencil compatibility, and has its own smart keyboard, which is sold separately. Overall, the dimensions of the new iPad Air are slightly bigger than the 9.7 inch iPad, yet it still weighs less, and the best part is that the side bezels are a lot thinner, which makes the display look even more beautiful. Also, this new iPad has a fully laminated display, so you won't get the huge gap between the top glass and the display like you get on the current 9.7 inch iPad. In regards to the cameras, the iPad Air comes with an 8 megapixel rear and 7 megapixel front cameras and comes in two storage sizes, 64 and 256 gigabytes, with a starting price tag of $499. On the other hand, the 7.9 inch iPad has gotten a huge upgrade after three and a half years. Like the iPad Air, the mini has also gotten the fast A12 Bionic processor, fully laminated display, still retains the home button and headphone jack. The body and the display size is exactly the same as the iPad mini 4. Though the biggest change on this new iPad mini is that it now has first generation Apple Pencil support, which I think is great for people who want a compact small device yet still have this extra option. It also has an improved front camera of 7 megapixel up from 1.2 megapixel on the iPad mini 4. The new iPad mini comes in two storage sizes as well, a 64 and 256 gigabyte option, with a starting price tag of $399. So I think both of these iPads are incredible for their price tags. You're getting modern Apple technology with multiple Pro features, yet still with a decent price. Let me know your thoughts on these two new iPads and if you're going to be buying one of these. So this is it for this video guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to stay updated with the latest news, leaks, and rumors around Apple devices. So until next time guys, take care.